every single day in ways that you never imagined you are being lied to. Whether it's by that advertisement on the TV showing you that succulent, juicy hamburger, which in reality consists of a stale bun and chewy patty, or the skincare product that promises to have your skin looking radiant and younger in just two weeks. Today, we look at more ways that you have been deceived over the years. 32 photos that prove your life is a lie. Number 32, Ginger Ninja. It came as a disappointing blow to learn that the Weasley twins from Harry Potter are not natural gingers. The boys actually have regular brown hair. Number 31, things are not always what they seem. It's always impressive to see how beautifully they stack the towels up in department stores, something that you can never seem to achieve in your own linen cupboard. And let me reassure you, there's a reason for that. They use foam blocks and one towel to create that flawless look. Number 30, run, run as fast as you can. Wiley e. Coyote and the Road Runner was released in 1949 and shows the tumultuous relationship between the coyote and the Road Runner. In every episode, the cheeky Road Runner outruns the coyote, the biggest lie ever. The top speed of the coyote is 43 miles an hour and the Road Runner just 20. Number 29, false advertising. I think we all kind of knew this one anyway, but it's so much nicer to believe that they are genuinely baby carrots that we're eating. The reality is so much more unexciting and unappealing, isn't it? Number 28, you're always caught out. There is no point lying because sooner or later, you're always caught out. Captain Crunch is no captain, as according to the three stripes on his sleeve, he is actually a commander. However, Commander Crunch doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Number 27, blown away. When it comes to advertising, we are subjected to many little tricks of the trade that are used to make that product appear flawless. Hair commercials are no exception, but what many of us believe just to be strategically placed fans is actually a man in a green screen suit, making sure everything is in check. Number 26, cost saving. These days, it's all about cost saving, but if your product is called Powerball, then at least one can expect to find an actual ball inside. Otherwise, what it should have been called is Power Circle, which would have at least been the truth. Number 25, you're doing it all wrong. We doubt that this is what bakers had intended when they delivered the final product, but it's most certainly worth a try because breaking and squishing the bread when cutting it is terribly annoying. Next time, turn it upside down and let us know if it works. Number 24, no one likes a liar. And these crackers let us down every single time. In fact, we're not sure we've ever managed to crack them down that perforated line perfectly. Have you? Number 23, an apple a day. We are all familiar with the story of Isaac Newton and how an apple fell on his head, which led him to discover gravity. Only problem with this story is that the apple didn't actually fall on Newton's head. In his original manuscript, there is absolutely no evidence of the apple incident. Instead, what you find are notes about how apples fall straight to the ground. Number 22, not as bad as you think. Were you also told as a kid that it was time to get out of the bath when your fingers started to wrinkle? Many kids had an innate fear that their fingers wouldn't return to normal thereafter, but it was probably just a ploy by tired parents to get their kids out of the tub, into PJs, and into bed. Fingers naturally wrinkle like this to allow the person to have extra grip underwater, which is actually pretty clever. Number 21, wait, what? Strawberries are red, we all know that. So why on earth would the green gummy bears be strawberry flavored? To add to that one, the red one, yes, the ones you would assume are strawberry flavored, are actually raspberry. Number 20, truly a revelation. Despite having whiskers, it turns out that Hello Kitty is not a cat. Apparently she's actually human. We don't know about you, but the last time we checked, humans did not have whiskers. Brand owner Sanrio says, Hello Kitty is a cheerful and happy little girl with a heart of gold. Number 19, wrong way, right way. Bobby pins have been around since the 1920s and were invented to help keep the newly fashionable bobbed hairstyles in place. Many sites have recently come forward to say we've been wearing them incorrectly all this time and that in order to get the best grip from your bobby pin, you need to have the curved side facing downward. Number 18, taste sensation. Not quite. The colorful Fruit Loops all taste exactly the same. So which fruit are they supposed to taste like? Or are all the flavors mixed with so much sugar it doesn't actually matter what flavor the loop is? We'll let you decide. Number 17, remember the time when we all believed Michael Jackson was able to defy gravity? Hate to be the one to break it to you, but Michael Jackson had a little trick he liked to use called anti-gravity shoes. 
Number 16, cheese please. Who decided that it was a good idea to put cheese in a mouse trap in the hope of attracting a mouse? Because whoever made that decision had it all wrong. Studies reveal that mice don't actually like cheese. They lean towards things with a higher sugar count, like grains and fruit. Cheese isn't something that's in their natural environment, so they would shy away from it as opposed to being drawn to it. Number 15, and now you know. This could be one of those hacks that someone has discovered, which will ultimately save your nerves when you're pouring milk, but whether the product was manufactured to be poured this way is open to discussion. Number 14, makes sense? It's not something one really thinks about, but after seeing this image, it makes total sense. Sidewalks are stamped and not tiled. It saves time, costs, and labor. A great solution all around. Number 13, behind the scenes. Bear Grylls, the man known for being able to survive in the wild, the man who has battled all the elements nature could throw at him, the man who shows you how to eat what the wild has to offer, is seen off camera tucking into what looks to be a delectable feast. Number 12, tricks of the trade. Photographing food can be challenging, so many photographers use this little trick to ensure they get the perfect shot. You know how it goes when you pour milk into your cereal. The little crumbly bits float everywhere and the cereal sinks, so this is how photographers get it right. They use glue. Number 11, for the love of pizza. Hawaiian pizzas were not invented in Hawaii, so why would a pizza invented in Canada be called a Hawaiian pizza? Sam Panopoulos, who was born in Greece but moved to Canada when he was 20, was trying to entice people into his pizza shop. He added the pineapple to his pizzas and loved the contrast of the sweet and savory. They called it Hawaiian pizza after the canned pineapple they were using at the time. Number 10, the grass is always greener. And that may be the case, but it may surprise you to find out why the grass is greener on the other side. That's because there's a good chance your neighbor is actually spray painting it. So don't feel bad if your grass is still a shade of brown. At least it's natural. Number 9, just a rumor. About two years ago, there was a bit of hype on the internet about how the numbers on the toaster related to the amount of time that the bread will be toasted and not the degree of toastiness you prefer. For example, two meant two minutes in the toaster. However, as solid as what that may seem, Mental Floss used several toasters to test the theory and it was disproved. Number 8, welcome to the dark side. These Star Wars cookie cutters have promised the buyer that they will end up with the most fabulous Star Wars cookies. And as they say, the proof is in the pudding. And this pudding is a complete failure. Number seven, who's measuring? Someone is, and the results are not good. Subway actually had a lawsuit against them that lasted two years. As someone on Twitter said, footlongs are really only 11 and a half inches. I did some math and figured out that Subway owes me $84 for 14 years of lies. After the lawsuit, they promised to ensure their sizing was correct in the future. Number six, complete betrayal. When you buy a product and on the packaging, it states calcium, the very least you expect to find inside the product is, call us crazy, but calcium. A little strange when you read the fine print on the back of the Hershey syrup, it clearly states 0% calcium. Number five, going forward. All right, this one isn't so much a lie as opposed to just not knowing. And now that you know, it's going to revolutionize your Asian dining experience. Instead of having one chopstick sporting that broken off piece of wood that kept them attached, it seems we were meant to snap the whole piece off and use it to rest our chopsticks on in between eating delectable morsels of sushi. We just want to eat sushi now so we can show off our new skills. Number four, 100% all lies. This juice carton claims to contain 100% pure squeezed orange juice. However, literally like right below it, it says that it's made from concentrate along with other added ingredients. The list of lies that we're being fed daily seems to just grow, doesn't it? Number three, I before E except after C. That's a rule that a lot of us were taught in school. With this information, we could successfully spell words like receipt and receive. However, this rule doesn't always apply. For example, the word efficiency sees that rule fly out the window as it's clearly spelled with the I before the E and after C. Number two, time for the truth. Paving a road brick for brick is so old school. These days, we're all about cost cutting, time saving, and efficiency, and this clever way of doing it ticks all those boxes. Number one, the disturbing truth. 
Alligators can stand just like a human. Mind you, they are most certainly able to float, but if the water is at the right depth, they can just as easily stand. When you see them jumping out to catch their prey, they're pushing themselves off with their very strong tails. Watching them stand in the water is a truth that many would sooner forget.